All right, next we are going to get Bobby Schilling up here, who is the congressional candidate for Illinois 17th District. I will say we sent out a letter to Phil Hare, and I wasn't supposed to say this, but I never got anything back. So I just want to make that aware. Okay. So let's give it up for Bobby Schilling, everybody. Thank you, uh, Seth. Uh, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to uh, be up here in front of everyone. Before I get started, what I'd like to do is, if there are any veterans out in the crowd, if you could please raise your hand. Thank you. Thank you. One of the greatest generation, uh, it's because of those folks that we're allowed to assemble here today. And, and you know, people fought, died, bled. Uh, for our freedoms that are being stripped away from us day by day by day by day. And that's why we all assemble here today is because we've had enough. Um, what I'd like to do is give a little story of a veteran in Quincy, Illinois. Um, this guy is 88 years old and he'd had enough of watching and, and, and just seeing everything that's happening to this great nation. And at an event that uh, the representative was at, he passed around a piece of paper and it had a picture of the White House, and underneath it it said, America's White House, not anymore. The next day, the representative and his staffers went to the radios and all of the newspapers locally and made this hero into a racist by adding one word to the bottom of that sentence. They added, not white anymore which is completely wrong. And when it comes to protecting our veterans, we need to rise up and get involved and protect them like they protected us. I was born and raised in Rock Island, Illinois. My wife, Christy, and I have been married for 24 years. We have 10 children, and we've run our own, own business for the last 14 years. But one of the things that I've done recently is, is I've done what I call a contract with the 17th Congressional District. And the way it's going to work is I've term limited myself to eight years because I believe part of the problem with our great nation is the fact that too many career politicians have taken over and made things about them rather than serving the people of this great nation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The second part of my contract is, is that I am unwilling to accept any raise whatsoever. And if you stop and think about what these guys are doing, is they're taking raises. You know, here we've got people last year, for example, plants are closing, families struggling, and these guys are still digging into our pocketbook, and it's enough. Enough is enough. The third promise that I made in this contract with the 17th Congressional District is the fact that after five years, Congress gets a full-blown pension. I'm rejecting that pension because I do not believe this is about money. This is about serving the people of your district. I also believe that every member of Congress should be able to either read the full bill or totally understand it without voting yay or nay. And yes, I can read. You know, when we look at the health care takeover, and don't be fooled because this is not reform. Reform is to take something and improve it and make it better. A takeover is forcing you to purchase insurance which is unconstitutional and you know, this little booklet right here in my back pocket, I'm here to tell you, this is not the cafeteria constitution where you can pick and choose what you want. We adhere to this and this alone. And you know, there was a blogger from St. Louis, Illinois, that had to come out and ask some test tough questions. And you know, these bloggers are taking over and they're doing some of the work that the media should be doing. They asked this guy several times where, and first off, is we got to understand what they call out of context. <laughs> out of context is what Mr. Opponent did to the veteran. He added that word, that's called out of context. 
In context is when somebody asks you a question, you answer that question, and it's on film, that's in context. Yep. When I get to Washington, D.C., I'll work only for the people. Um, there's so much at risk, and everyone here today needs to understand how important this is. We all have, we're all right here standing, we have a thing called the dash of life. And that's our dash today. And our dash today will go down as the most important dash in American history because we're going to go down as the dash that did nothing about all of these government takeovers, or we're going to go down as the dash that said, we've had enough, we're taking this great nation back. I'm going to be around here for a while. I, I could go on for another half an hour, trust me. Um, but it's really important that each and every one here that love the freedoms that our veterans fought for today, yesterday, and in the future, that we rise up, we get involved, we get our brothers, our sisters, our moms, our dads, our aunts and uncles, our neighbors, everyone needs to get involved and take charge. My name is Bobby Schilling. I'm from Colonia, Illinois. I've got 10 kids and I drive a truck. Yeah. <laughs>